Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part 10 of our series of session on Tally's release 3.0 where we are covering the GST module features. In today's session, we will discover yet very useful feature related to advance. So as you are aware, if you are supplying any services and if the dealer has received advance towards future supply of services, that amount of advance is subject to GST. So if you have paid the GST tax and when you are moving to Tally Release 3.0, there is a beautiful feature in Tally where you can adjust that advance GST that you have paid when you are raising the invoice. So let's go to Tally and see how we can handle this requirement in Tally. As you are aware that on receipt of advance amount towards supply of services, GST is applicable on the advance amount received. The GST liability is computed through backward calculation. So let us take a use case. Let's say a dealer has received an advance amount of rupees 50,000 in the month of May. The GST liability is calculated as follows as shown below in the table and the same needs to be paid in the same month. So if you see the table down here, advance amount received is 50,000 which includes the GST of 18%. So 50,000 divided by 118 multiplied by 100 comes to the taxable amount that is 42,373. Now the difference between 50,000 and 42,373 will be divided into two wherein you will get CGST liability of 3,813.50 and SGST liability of 3,813.50. The same would have been filed by the dealer in the month of May. Now let us say you have been filing your return outside tally where you have declared this liability of GST on advance receipt. The dealer is now raising a service invoice in the month of June. The GST already paid in the month of May needs to be set off with this liability of GST and only the net tax liability will be paid. Observe the table below again. The first column invoice is raised for 1 lakh and the GST on the same is 9000 CGST and 9000 SGST. The second line advance amount received is 50,000 and the GST liability on that comes to 3,813.50 CGST and same amount SGST. So in the month of June, the GST on advance amount has to be reduced. So if you see the third column, the net tax liability for this invoice comes to 5,186.50 CGST and the same amount SGST. So this is how we are going to handle while filing the GST return. With Tally Prime Release 3 onwards, Tally provides a simple way to incorporate the advance amount paid earlier as opening balance and when you are invoicing, the advance amount will reflect and on selection of the same, Tally will auto adjust the tax amount and will also reflect in the respective table of the returns automatically. You do not have to pass a separate journal entry for the same. Let us take the same example and enable this option in Tally Prime and witness the ease of advance management. How do we configure this? Press F11 feature, come to taxation and the second option set alter company GST rate and other details. Set it to yes. You will see this option of additional configuration where you are going to now use this option for adjusting the advance amount in the transaction that is while raising the tax invoice itself. So you're going to say yes and Tally is informing you that how are you going to enter the opening balance or from where are you going to enter the opening balance. So it says you can provide any unadjusted advance by selecting GST report. Under GST report you have GST utilities and under that you have GST advance opening balance is where we are going to enter the opening balance. Now since that information of GST payment of advance is not in the system now, that is the reason why we are going to incorporate that as opening balance enter. And the applicable date, it very clearly mentions that enter a date after the period when you 
यू हैव रिपोर्टेड यूर लाइबिलिटीज इन रिटर्न यूजिंग जर्नल वाउचर और यू हैव रिपोर्टेड थ्रू अ थर्ड पार्टी सॉफ्टवेयर लेट से वी वॉन्ट टू नाउ स्टार्ट कैप्चरिंग ऑल इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम फर्स्ट ऑफ जून सो यू से फर्स्ट ऑफ जून एंड देन वी गोट सेव दिस फर्स्ट थिंग नाउ वी हैव टू इनकॉर्पोरेट दैट एडवांस अमाउंट ऑफ फिफ्टी थाउजेंड दैट वी हैव रिसीव एंड द जी एस टी पर्टेनिंग टू दैट अमाउंट विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी पेड इन द मंथ ऑफ मे सो वी कम टू डिस्प्ले मोर रिपोर्ट सेलेक्ट जी एस टी रिपोर्ट एंड वी हैव जी एस टी यूटिलिटीज हियर क्लिक ऑन जी एस टी यूटिलिटीज हियर यू हैव दिस ऑप्शन सिंस वी हैव इनेबल्ड द ऑप्शन अंडर एफ इलेवन वी आर गेटिंग दिस मेनू नाउ सो सेलेक्ट जी एस टी एडवांसेस ओपनिंग बैलेंस एंटर सो क्रिएट ओपनिंग बैलेंस फॉर एडवांस रिसीट यू कैन क्रिएट ओपनिंग बैलेंस फॉर एडवांस पेमेंट ऑल्सो वी आर गोन टू क्रिएट ओपनिंग बैलेंस फॉर एडवांस रिसीट एंटर फ्रॉम होम हैव यू रिसीव द एडवांस दिस इज द कस्टमर द कस्टमर इज अ लोकल कस्टमर प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई इज कर्नाटक डज दिस सप्लाई अट्रैक्ट रिवर्स चार्ज नो एंटर एंड नाउ यू हैव टू से डेट ऑफ जी एस टी एडवांस वेन वॉज दिस एडवांस अमाउंट रिसीव द एडवांस अमाउंट वॉज रिसीव ऑन फिफ्थ ऑफ मे तो वॉट इज द रेट ऑफ जी एस टी अप्लीकेबल फॉर दैट इट इज एटीन परसेंट एंटर एंड वॉट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ एडवांस दैट वी हैव रिसीव फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एंटर टैली विल ऑटोमेटिकली बैक कैलकुलेट नाउ इट विल बैक कैलकुलेट एज पर दबल वी सॉ अर्लियर सेस इज नॉट अप्लीकेबल एंटर एंड वी आर गोन सेव दिस सो दिस वे वॉट एवर टैक्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी पेड वी हैव ब्रॉड दट इन टू द books of account now the dealer is going to raise a tax invoice against this advance that they have received we are in the sales voucher and now we will convert this into an accounting voucher since we are not going to create any stock item for services so how do we change this come to the right hand side button bar change mode and then select accounting invoice enter the party is customer so we are going to select service ledger that is we have created professional services enter let's say the amount is 1 lakh now the tax is going to be applicable cgst 9000 sgst 9000 come down now when you come to bill wise detail new reference this is fine 1 lakh 18000 now since we have enabled to adjust the advance amount in the invoice when you press enter tally is now going to give you the list of advance amount received and the liability paid on the advance amount so you select this press enter accept and end of list save this you can print this invoice now we will see the impact in the return form this is our gstr1 report if you see here this is for the month of june so we have made one sale invoice for 1 lakh the tax liability cgst is 9000 sgst is 9000 and if you come down here tally is automatically reduce the tax paid on advance adjustment of advance which will go into the table of 11b1 and 11b2 respectively so it is now reduce the taxable amount it is reduce the tax amount that has already been paid and the balance amount that needs to be paid for the month is 5186 for each one of them this way by using this simple method of bringing all the advance amount gst paid as opening balance and when you are invoicing you can quickly tag those advance gst paid and then reduce the liability in the tax invoice for that particular month and make the payment if you notice your gst r 3b return the net taxable amount gets reflected here and the tax liability is reflected here in gst r 3b this is the amount that needs to be paid unless if there are any input tax credit that can be reduced and the net amount can be paid now if you want to see the detail of this just press enter and one more enter will give you the detail the total liability from outward supply is 1 lakh advance tax adjusted is 3813 and the net amount payable that's how the net amount payable gets reflected here i hope this very useful feature of management of advance and gst liability and reducing the liability through claim of credit would be of immense help for all of you you can make use of this feature so that it simplifies your management of advance towards future supply on services thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much